Hey kiddos, good morning. Sorry, let me get the camera set. Okay, today we are doing 8.4. So you're going to need to get your... Ay, 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 hold on. You're going to need to get 8.4 out. Okay? There we go. Okay. So... Let me read the solvent share and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Okay, so it says, guess how many cubes are in your bag, then empty the bag in the space below. Without counting each cube, guess how many cubes there are. Okay, you guys don't have cubies at home. Cubies. You guys don't have cubes at home. So what I did is I got a bag and I filled them with some puzzle pieces. And I want you guys to guess... How many you think there are? So guess one. Let's take a crack at guess one. Looking at my bag, how many puzzle pieces do you think there are? And no cheating, don't count them. Try to guess. I think there's 13 pieces. What do you guys think? Okay, write, down, write your answer down, okay? All right, now let's take a second guess. If it's not 13, then I'd probably say there's... Um, let's do 16. I think there's 16. I'll go a little bit bigger. Okay, now write down your second guess. What do you guys think? How many do you think are in the bag? Take a moment and, and think about it. Don't count them. Try to guess. It's all by yourself. Because we're going to count them together after this, okay? So I'll give you about seven more seconds. Okay, let's count them. Okay. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Oh my gosh, I was so close. I guess sixteen. What did you guys guess? Did you guys get close? What did you think? You guys got close or no? Pretty good job, guys. Did you guys think that was hard? If you thought that was hard, then what I want you to do later is I want you to find something that you can put in a baggie and you can count. Maybe it's puzzle pieces like me, or maybe it's Cheerios, or maybe it's your, your race cars. And I want you to just grab a handful and put them in a baggie and then try them all by yourself, okay? All right, let's flip the page. Okay. 35 stands for three tens and five ones. The three and 35 is the tens digit. Tens digit, okay? The five and the 35 is the ones digit. So that's the ones digit. Because over here, you put the three tens in the ten spot, and you put the five leftovers in the one spot, right? You can use a model to show the tens and ones. So here's our model. We've got three tens and five ones, which makes it 35. Do you guys see how I just took the three from that side and the five from that side and I put them in their spots. So the front spot is the tens and the last spot is the ones. Okay, let's try guided practice. So I'm going to count the tens. I'm not going to count how many cubes there are. I'm going to count how many columns there are. So I have one, two, three. So then I'm going to take my arrow. I know I'm going to see tens and tens. And I'm going to write how many I had. I had three. I'm going to count the ones. Then I'm going to cross them off because they're small. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the ones box and I'm going to write eight. Because the ones goes in the ones box and the tens go in the tens box, right? Okay. So we have three tens and eight ones and that makes 38, right? Because you take the tens number and put it in front and the ones number and you put it in the back. Okay. Let's do the next one. And this one we have to do all by yourself. So I'm going to draw my arrows first because tens go in the tens box and ones go in the ones box, right? Okay, so we're going to count the columns, not the cubes. So I have one, two, three, four. So I have four tens. Now I'm going to count the ones, which is easy peasy because there's one tiny little one in there. One. Okay, wants to know how many tens I have. How many tens do I have? Right, I've got four. And wants to know how many ones I have. How many ones do I have? I only have one. Now I'm going to write the numbers together, but I write the tens number first, and the tens number is four. Then I write the ones number afterwards, and it's a one. So our number is the number 40. One. All right. Okay, pause it if you need to stay here, but I'm going to go on to the next page, okay? Okay. Let's see if I can bring it closer. There we go. That's better, right, guys? Oh my gosh, my camera would work. Okay. So you guys are gonna do four and five by yourself and we're only gonna focus on one, okay? On one, we're only gonna focus on three. Okay, so I'm gonna draw my arrows. Tens go to the 10 spot. And ones go to the one spot, right? Okay. How many tens do I have in my 10 spot? How many columns do I have? I have only one column. Now I'm going to do my ones, because my ones need to go in my one spot, so I'm going to cross them off as I go because these are really tiny. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine ones. Now I'm going to write it out in my sentence. Just looking for tens. How many tens do I have? I've got one. And my ones are nine. Now, if I want to write this number together, I write the tens number first, and my tens number first is a one. My ones go behind the tens number, which is nine, and our answer is 19. So I want you guys to try four and five by yourself. You can pause it, okay? And then we'll go on to the next one. I'm going to go to number six, but I want you to pause it so you can do four and five, and I'll come back and I'll do it with you guys to see if you got it right, okay? Okay. Bill has a number. It has the same number of tens and the same number. Oh, I'm sorry. It has the same number of tens and ones. What could Bill's number be? Oh, smokes. So I'm going to draw my box. Has the same number of tens and ones. Okay, so I would say that would be one column of tens and one cube, right? So if I'm going to write it like a number, my tens go first, right? Okay, how many ten columns do I have? One. How many ones do I have? One. I've got 11. Do you guys think you can solve it for a different number to see if you could get something similar but that's different than 11? 
because there's a couple other numbers you can do that have the same number of 10 columns as they do cubes. See if you can figure out another one by yourselves, okay? If not, that's okay, but I'm gonna flip the page, okay? Okay. I didn't mean to circle this one, you guys, because we're doing it together, okay? Luz has juice box at her party, and there are three packages of 10. There are three packages of 10. So that's what we know goes on the 10 spot. There's three of them. So I'm going to draw them. One, two, three. And seven extra juice boxes. There's seven extra. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now I wants us to write it as a number. So I'm going to take the tens because the tens go first. How many columns do I have, guys? Right, I have three. Now let's do our ones. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. So she has 37 juice boxes. Nice. Okay, draw a picture to show a number greater than 25 and less than 75, write the number. So I'm going to make it easy on us and we're going to write the number 52. Okay, so we got to draw our tens. Oh, I'm sorry, we got to draw our box first. Write tens at the top and ones on this side. Now we're gonna take these numbers and we're gonna tear them apart. Front number is your 10 spot. So how many columns do you guys think I'm going to draw if my number is 50? Right, I'm gonna draw five. Two, three, four, five. This is my one spot. How many ones do you think I'm going to draw in my one spot? You're right. Two. So our number is 52. I want you guys to try one more by yourselves if you can. A different number if you would like. Okay? Just so you can practice. So let's go back and let's solve number four and number five, okay? I'm gonna draw my arrows so I know where my numbers are going. Okay, ten, so I'm counting columns. One, two. I got two. Ones. One, two, three. There's three. Okay, so tens. I have two. And ones. I have three. I'm putting the tens number first. My tens number is two. Putting my ones number last, which is three. You should have gotten 23. Kiss your brains if you got it right. All right, let's try number five. Drawing my arrows. Okay, one, two, three, four. There are four tens. Ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight ones. I have four tens and eight ones. Remember, my tens number goes first, which is the four. My eight is one, so ones goes last, and our number is 48. You got that right? Kiss your brain. All right, kiddos, that's all we're doing for today, okay? I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye.